Welcome to Texturing Geometry with Mats. Mats, or materials, are an operator family that applies a shader to a SOP or 3D geometry object for rendering textured surfaces with lighting. Mats are an essential part of a real-time workflow, so let's take a closer look at the materials that we're going to interact with. Let's begin by opening up the OpenCreate dialog, heading over to Components, and adding a camera component to your network. Let's next head over to Surface Operators and grab a rectangle. And let's right click on the output of a rectangle and add a geometry component to our network. Next, let's go ahead and let's add a render top to our network. Now we're going to make a few changes here. Let's make sure we drag our, drag our geometry right onto our render and set that as the geometry component here. And next, let's go ahead and use a constant material. Now, a constant material doesn't have a lighting model attached to it. And when we apply our constant to our geometry as our material, we'll see that this color, whatever color we've assigned in the constant, is exactly what we're going to get uh, inside of our render. So we could change our color here, and we'll see that applies directly to the geometry that we have. So for example, if we had a circle, and we plugged our circle directly into our geometry comp instead, we have the same result. And if we had torus even, and let's actually change our torus so it uh, has an orientation along the z-axis and plug that in. So our torus, we'll see here, we don't have any shading that's applied to it. It's just one flat color, which is this constant material. Now, our constant material is especially useful. Let's switch back to our rectangle when we're working with texture. So let's go ahead and add a movie file in top here. And next, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to select a different image to get started. I'm going to go ahead and grab, in this case, uh, just this Mettler 2. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to use a fit top to make sure that that's set up to be the same aspect ratio as my geometry. I'm going to change this to be fit outside. And then last but not least, I'm going to change this to have a null at the end. Now I'm going to change my constant back to having just a white color. So it's not influenced here in any way. Uh, so I get just exactly what is in the texture that's applied. When I apply this color map, we can now see in our render top that that is in fact exactly what we've displayed. Uh, this is especially powerful for any workflow that we're doing um, where we have a, a material or an image that we want to apply directly to a piece of 3D geometry. And you'll often find constant materials used in projection mapping pipelines. Let's take a look at another material type. Let's go ahead and add another camera here to our network. And we're going to do a similar kind of setup where this time we're going to add a light. Next up, we're going to add a Let's add a torus this time. And we'll make sure that our sort torus is set up along the z-axis. Let's go ahead and connect that to a geometry component. And let's now add a render top into our network. And we're going to do the same. We're going to practice our same technique uh, as we add our render top here, is that we're going to make sure that in this case that we're using camera two as our camera, uh, light one as our light, and geometry two as the only geometry that we're rendering here. Excellent. And now we should notice, let's actually also make sure that we switch over to a Fong material. The Fong material does have uh, a lighting component that's attached to it. So we should see here that as we move our light from here in neg or from positive 10, all the way back through to negative 10 that uh, our lighting does contribute to what we're seeing here on uh, how our torus is shaded. Now our Fong uh, material also has a few other parameters that we can interact with. So for example, we have our rim light uh, parameter, so we can actually, actually enable a lim, uh, rim light and specify a rim color uh, and control where the center of that is and the width of that. So we have a few other parameters that we can control uh, when it comes to how our lighting is applied here uh, beyond just the parameters that are available on the first page. Let's take a look at one other material that's uh, very useful and extremely popular these days, the line material. So let's begin again by heading back to our components. We're going to start again with a camera component here in our network. Uh, let's add a, uh, in this case, 
Let's head to our surface operators and we'll begin this time with a torus again. And let's set our torus to be also positioned along the z-axis. We'll connect this to a geometry component. We'll similarly uh, go ahead and add a render top here into our network. Let's make sure that it's our camera three that's set as our camera and our geo three that's set as our geometry. And this time let's head to materials and let's select a line material. The line material is relatively new inside of Touch Designer and it does a lot of really interesting work for us. Uh, part of what we can do, let's actually reposition our torus here slightly. We're going to rotate it away from the camera just a little bit. And we'll notice that the line material has a, uh, a set of parameters that are really useful for us. So uh, we have a, an idea of fall off for a near and far range. And if we take a look at the lines, we can specify a near and far color. So for example, let's go ahead and change our near color to something like a, a bright orange. And let's change our far color to maybe like a dark blue. And we can see how that's applied as a distance function across our geometry. This is really powerful in lots of different ways. And in fact, uh, if we don't want to draw lines, we can turn off the lines. We could instead draw points um, and we could increase the size of our points. This is a pretty uh, excellent technique for uh, how we might think about dealing with point clouds. Uh, we can also draw vectors. So let's go ahead and turn off our points and turn on our vectors instead. And here we can see that our vectors are described as the N attribute, which is the normal attribute. This is pretty powerful for us to actually be able to use in several different contexts. And this also has the same idea of a near and far color. Line materials are incredibly powerful inside of uh, how we work with Touch Designer, and it fits well inside of uh, the different materials that we will use on a regular basis.